Hello everyone, I thought I would read to you this passage from my book Symphony of Perdition where these two characters are basically arguing and discussing uh, philosophical and religious issues and I think it's really dramatic for that reason. Tell me, Sammy, do you believe in God? I try to, although not always successfully. Do you believe that God is dead, as Friedrich Nietzsche believed? Or do you take a more optimistic view, as I once did? What are you driving at? The truth, my dear fellow, the truth isn't always easy to hear, but it must be heard nonetheless. Why, for example, is there so much suffering in the world? If there is a God, like so many people claim, then why does he allow human disease, mental or physical? I asked myself that question for years, often while treating my patients, most of whom were very tragic cases. There were some exceptions, of course, but they represented the overwhelming majority. Eventually, I came to one conclusion. There is no God, Edward stated, bitterness in his voice. Sam opened his mouth as if to respond, but he ultimately decided against it. His words on further, or on further inspection were not adequate, let alone satisfactory. He remained silent for several seconds, clearly incapable of speech. Edward folded his arms, triumphantly smiling while doing so. It was an obvious power play meant to stifle Sam's confidence, at which it succeeded. Don't you have anything to say? Sure, there's a lot of suffering, but how does that prove that there is no God? God might have a reason, one that we are unaware of, for why he allows suffering. On second thought, can there be happiness without suffering? What do you mean by that? In order for there to be happiness, there must be suffering, at least to a certain degree. Otherwise, how could we hope to distinguish between feelings? Happiness exists because suffering exists. Minus suffering, we wouldn't be fully human. It's part of us, inseparable from all other aspects of our existence, and that's the whole point. Secondly, suffering humbles us, something that happiness can never do, Sam proclaimed, gaining confidence in his voice. That sounds very romantic, possibly even a little sentimental, but, ignores, but it, it ignores the reality of the world. All living creatures, including the three of us, will perish from the earth. Billions of years into the future, the earth will be destroyed, and, and trillions of years after that, the universe will come to an end. What kind of God would allow something like that to happen? He would have to be sadistic, if not downright mad, Edward exclaimed, finally losing his temper.